Hello and welcome to um, the Tab TV's first ever Ready Steady Cook. Um, I'm here with my culinary connoisseur, Grace Lieberson, um, and we will be um, giving two contestants the chance to um, cook in this lovely jip room um, with uh, some ingredients that I have here. Okay, great, let's uh, meet the contestants. Okay, our uh, first contestant is Toby Fleming, uh, who is at Christ. Um, he's a fresher here. Um, what do you think of this jip room? Well, you know, it's fantastic, really. Can't ask for, can't ask for more than two electric hops. <laughs> Don't be greedy. Um, have you had um, any kind of notable um, previous cooking experience? Uh, yeah, on my on my gap year, I spent uh, a year as a as a pastry chef in Paris. So I've uh, I'm more familiar with pastry than. Um, Process peas, but you know, should be should be an interesting challenge. Okay, great. Okay, so um, Toby is at the midway stage now, um, and you know, even though he is burning um, <laughs> some kind of the, the egg and the sausage is really rather uncooked, um, we thought we kind of go towards a, a side track. Um, Toby, you tell me that you um, are very into uh, quinoa as an ingredient. Well, I mean, George, I'd like to plant it the original Bolivian plantation of uh, quinoa um, and it's actually a real problem at the moment because Guardian readers are um, pricing the local Bolivians out of their quinoa so there's a actually a huge starvation problem that's why I I think probably our producers opted not to not to choose quinoa today because it's a real serious humanitarian disaster so Toby you have been a fantastic contestant Thank you. Um, would you like um, just to talk us through uh, exactly what you've done here yeah absolutely um, so I've got a sort of elegant uh, bean and pea uh, symphony here um, in the shape of a sort of crudely and yang symbol representing the balancing of the palate. Um, the potato here um, anchors the dish both uh, physically and metaphorically. Um, and then I've got a, a, a raw noodle twill uh, here with uh, complete with the garnish of uh, chicken curry noodle powder. We have uh, Toby's meal here to try. Um, really when looking at it, in my opinion, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the expert, but I would say, you know, he's gone for it with the presentation. Um, he's, you know, addressed it personally to Grace, which is obviously an important thing. However, I am slightly worried that it might be inedible and cause us some really, really quite significant uh, health problems. Well... <laughs> It is abounding with different textures. Mmm. There's um there's that really earthy kind of black. <laughs> it's very flavor. earthy, it's very earthy. <laughs> Hello, um we are here with uh, Maria Salazar, who is our second contestant. Um how are you feeling today? I'm actually really, really nervous. Really nervous? Yeah. Okay. Um well a few kind of questions about you and your cooking. Um what is your your favourite ingredient? Rice, definitely rice. I think it's a staple food for any Asian. Rice and bamboo shoots. Okay, great. So, so Mario, this is certainly an interesting concoction. I mean, you've got, I, th I think you've covered a lot of bases here. Mm. Um, you've kind of got carbs, meat, protein, uh, vegetables, all in one uh, pan, which, you know, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, we've, we've got to applaud that. But mm. you haven't actually turned this on. Is that, is that, are you kind of going to wait for a bit? Um, do, you, do, you, do you want to kind of slow, what, what, a kind no, of fast No, I, I just, I just think that, you know, I think that I've plated everything right now. So you know how you usually plate at the end of cooking? I thought, you know, plate at the beginning and then just, you know, microwave it. Okay. Right. Okay. It's a clever, clever marketing Potentially dangerous. Potentially very good. So now the, uh, the, the, the moment of truth for this uh, microwave, we, we, we really, really got to see if this is going to pull off. It was a massive risk for Mariella. What, what is going to happen here? Oh wow, fantastic. I think it turned out really well. I do, I do fucking love crunchy nut. Mm. Both gone for crunch, haven't they? Yeah, it's Okay, now it's time for the verdict. Um, personally, I think it's a very, very hard fought battle. I think they both had their positives, both had their negatives. Um, Grace, what do you think? Well, George, it's been, a, it's been a day full of fantastic flavours and some really exciting young chefs on show here. Um, you know, for me personally, I would say that 
you know, Toby with his presentation, his kind of inventiveness, and yet, you know, the, the subtle use of, you know, classical training, that was that was something really, really exciting to see. But, you know, um, Mariella, on the other hand, you know, she certainly went for it. She, um, she was bold in her flavours. It was nice to see kind of, you know, some kind of fusion cooking, mixing kind of Asian flavours with more traditional British ingredients. And um, yeah, always, always, always exciting stuff to see. Um, you know, I say, I say the true winner though here, George, is perhaps Kellogg's Crunchy Nut, the tab's favourite breakfast cereal. I would have to agree with that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.